Hi guys, so this video I'm going to be dealing with the little issue that's come up now that the GoPro Hero 4 has come out uh, for all those people who have got themselves the original DJI H3 2D gimbal now the problem is the gimbal itself works, it functions, the weights are the same, there's no glitching, there's no issues with that and it also connects into the back of it and it does power the camera. The problem that we have is that the pinouts on the Hero 4s, whether they be the silver or the black, have changed. So basically they've swapped around a couple of the grounds. The net result is while you can record from the gimbal, if you're using an OSD or IOSD and you want to actually see the output from the gimbal through the eyes of your GoPro that no longer functions so if you have a Hero 4 and you plug it to the H3 2D you will literally be able to not use it for um, for FPV purposes so there is a fix um, it's something that a few people have been dabbling with but I thought I'd do a video to try and at least demonstrate how uh, how to do it it's actually not that complicated a fix um, it's a little fiddly but it's um, it's nothing like as fiddly as some of the modifications that I've done before so I thought I would give it a go. Uh, the main component that you're going to need is the H3 3D USB connector. Now what this is, let me just get it out of the packet, this is basically the connector that the new H3 3D gimbal uses to connect to the GoPro. That's the little board there. And basically what that does is it holds on with a horribly flimsy ribbon cable and plugs into the USB connector on the side of it and this is actually how the H3 3D gimbal works it doesn't use the pinouts now that's probably for the fact that they didn't know what GoPro were going to do with those pinouts which is why they need to do the modification so what we're going to do as part of this process is we're basically going to remove the camera first and foremost obviously and then if we take a look at the back of the board if I hold it just there we've got the pinout connector which goes into the back of the GoPro we've then got the motherboard for the um, for the IMU on the back of the Zenmoose gimbal what we're going to do is we are going to remove these screws one two there which hold the actual connector on and we're also going to remove one two three four these screws which hold the motherboard on once we've removed the motherboard and those two screws there's this black unit here that's actually holding the connector down and then this connector is held in with a ribbon cable via a standard ribbon cable connection and what we're going to do is we're going to replace this whole unit with this USB unit and then this has got a little ribbon cable connector as well so that is basically the process that we're going to follow so let's begin by just undoing these screws you'll find that they do have thread lock on them I've actually undone these already just to do a little bit of investigation so be very very gentle with all of this make sure you've got the right screwdriver for it make sure that you've got a nice firm connection on all of those screws because the last thing you want to do is thread them or strip the heads okay one Three and four. Okay, so that's now all come loose. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself a very thin, flat bladed screwdriver and I'll just hold this up to the camera. <coughs> So the first thing that we want to do is using a flat bladed thin screwdriver just tuck it in underneath this black bracket and you'll see the bracket comes up and you can put that to one side. Now that now releases this you'll see it will rock out slightly. Now don't pull too hard but you'll see when you do pull it the motherboard will now lift up. Now this motherboard is connected by another ribbon cable behind this point here so don't just yank it up hoping it's going to come away all you want to do is very gently lift it sideways up and then you will see just here this is the ribbon connector now on this ribbon connector hopefully this will focus in there's a little black bar at the back of it 
and all we want to do is we want to get our screwdriver just underneath it and apply a bit of pressure upwards and it just flicks up and what that does is that releases the tension on the ribbon cable and if you give it a little bit of a wiggle and a pull you'll see that that connector now comes apart okay so now you've got the ribbon cable out the next thing to do is put the replacement ribbon cable in now you've got to be very careful of the orientation of this ribbon cable if you get it the wrong way round you'll find that not only does the Zen Moose not power on but you'll find there's no signal and it may do a little bit of damage to the board if you leave it powered on for too long the main thing to remember is basically the short stubby side so if I just get this in my fingers here the short stubby side which is this bit here that goes into the motherboard and the long thin side that is going to go into the USB connector so with that in mind all you've got to do is make sure you've got the gold connectors facing up so we've got black that side and we slide the fat stubby side into this little slot here and we give it a bit of a push not too far make sure it's lining up nice and straight and then we just fold down the little grey tab and give it a tug make sure it's not loose okay and then we can gently fold back the motherboard and you can see that basically what we want to have happen is we want to have it so it's kind of tucked up against the side here now to make that happen and this is optional what we've got we've got the original retaining clamp that came with the uh, the main pin holder now what I've done is I've actually created myself just a little bit of foam board which will sit right in the corner here like this and this is actually going to kind of press down and cause it to actually point straight up so all you've got to do is kind of measure it out get it to a point where this retaining clip will fit in its slot like that and then actually that it will push down on that piece of cardboard like so and then leave you in a position where you can actually do the screws up so now I'm just going to grab those two little black screws and pop them in their relative holes one there and one there grab the screwdriver always wise to go in the reverse direction until you hear a little pop and then screw down okay so that is now in there nice and firm maybe tighten that one a little bit more okay so you can see now that our ribbon cable is sticking nice and tight outside of that of course the reason we want that nice and tight to the side is so the hero will actually fit without it getting snagged okay so all we've got to do now is we've got to grab our little USB connector and just like the motherboard what we've got to do is we've just got to get it onto the ribbon cable so gold connectors facing up push it in there obviously making sure that the little grey tab here is flipped up push it in you'll see there's a little bit of gold still showing make sure it's nice and straight and then push that grey connector down and there we go and that is basically it all you've got to do now is you've just got to attach the four screws to do that up grab your GoPro pop it down on the retaining mount there obviously clamp the uh, the fixing mount over the front of it to hold it in place and then it's just a case of curling this ribbon cable back and over itself and you're in and it's as simple as that and once you've done that like I say as long as you follow that ribbon cable and you make sure that the short end short stubby is going into the motherboard and the long thin is going into the USB then once you put this back together you'll find it powers on not only is this going to work with your Hero 4 but it is also of course because it's USB going to work with your Hero 3 as well um, and yeah and you should just have use of your gimbal as you did before